And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Cat Town. Cat Town, from the back here, is a paradise for cats. You're going to be going to a wonderful town that has statues of cats, and uh, cats here are sunning themselves, it looks like, on tracks and not worrying about cars running them over. And you are trying to find cats, all right? There's going to be cards. You're going to go out searching and use your abilities to find other cats to join your super duper paradise. I don't know. Let's take a look. In this game, each player is a cat. So you're gonna take a token of your cat. You'll see the cats are in different poses as different colors. You also get a mouse. The mouse is really for nothing other than putting in front of yourself to remember who you are. There's different locations on the board. Now, each of these locations is really just a placeholder. But there, as you can see, the artwork on these is really beautiful. And you know what? They're actually postcards. I'm not really sure what you would do. I mean, if you can I send the game to someone else piecemeal? But uh, anyway, so you're going to put a certain number of cards on each of these boards based on the number of players. If there's four players, then two players are on the same team. Otherwise, every, person, every cat for themselves. So on your turn, you have different actions. One thing you're going to do most time is take a walk. That's where you jump over one location. You go to these spots between the locations. When you jump over a location, you have two options. You can just simply draw the card into your hand. Whatever the card is, you get it. It's in your hand or you can search. When you search, you take the top card and flip it over. If it's an action card, and this is an action card, it's green, it is discarded into a discard pile face down over here. If it's an item or a cat card, which that one's not, and neither is that one, and wow, this would be a really bad one to search. Come on, man. If it's an item card, then you get to immediately put that item card in front of you. Or if it's a cat card. Now, cat cards are what everyone's looking for. A cat card is really obvious because it's a picture of a cat. Each cat card in front of you is worth a point, and you are trying to get six points total. An item in front of you is not worth anything, although it gives you a special ability when you play it. Like this one lets you look at the top four cards of two chosen blocks, and it also lets me take a card from the station. This is the station middle, so I get to take the top card into my hand. Many cards will let you take cards in a station, or let you, you know, walk or do a search or something like that. Also, each item card in front of me, and this is in the quote-unquote advanced rules, allows me to take a card when I search. So I'm trying to get items. The more different items in front of me, the more cards that I can search when going through the piles. If I ever get two of the same item in front of me, they kind of go away. They don't count towards searches anymore, but they become a point just like a cat does. You can also, in the advanced game, search your own hand. So let's say you have a cat in your hand. You've drawn one for whatever reason. You can't just play a cat. So you search, you, okay, you shuffle the cards. Here we go. And pick one. Action card, discard it. Cat goes in front of you. Well, that's if it's a search. Again, that's correct. So that's basically the game. The station's here for people to get cards out of it. If the station ever gets empty, you take the discard pile and flip it. And it becomes the new station. And you just keep going. These action cards you can also play as an action in your turn. Um, look at the top two cards or three blocks. Look at the top card from four blocks and check one opponent's hand card. You may discard exactly three hand cards to obtain this card as a cat card. Not bad. You get a point that way. Look at the top four cards in a block and put them in any order. So many of them obviously are going to be uh, discard as many cards from your hand as you like and gain the same number of bonus walks. This means you can walk over things and search or draw cards into your hand. So essentially, if you think, I mean, you can do some searching. If you know there's an action card at the top, then you just want to walk and take the card in your hand so you can use it later. But if you know there's an item or cat on the top, an item's fine because you can put it in your hand or immediately put it in play. But cat cards can only be put into play through searching. Anyhow, the first person with six points, or if you're in teams, the first team with six points is the winner. Now, big congratulations for the look of this game. I don't know, it's kind of hard to find a, a, a word for it, idyllic, peaceful, 
Um, and chanting, the artwork here just is really well done. I love those postcards. I'd put them up on my wall. They look really cool. Um, I like the fact that each of the cats is um, a different mold, different colors, so, you know, they're easy to tell apart. The concept of the game is pretty simple. You're going out searching for cats, and it's a very light game. It's not quite a take that game. That's a game where you play bad cards on other people and they good cards on yourself. But it is a game where you're kind of like trying to figure out where these cards are. You look at the top four cards of decks and you're like, hmm, there's a cat second card of that one. And then you move to that location and someone else sees you and they're like, what did he see? But there's not a lot of depth or strategy. It is, it's kind of like just searching for cards. It's interesting when you have a cat card in your hand because should you search for that? But that's wasting time. Maybe you should play some of those action cards first, get it down to maybe one or two cards in your hand and then go searching. Games are not very long. This is like a 10, 20, well, it says 30 minutes on here, but probably a 20 minute game, especially once you know what you're doing. It has basic and advanced rules. The advanced rules let you search for cards from your hands. Um, essentially, I highly recommend playing the quote unquote advanced rules, but this is a game that can be taught to anyone. It's not a game I'd want to play all the time, but like I said, while the, the artwork itself is peaceful and the whole world's peaceful, the game almost has a peaceful feeling too. Yeah, there's a little bit of I need to find this or I'm about to search. I hope it's an item because I don't feel like taking it in my hand. Yes, it's an item. You know, and then, the, like I said, there's also items where you can do mess over someone else slightly sometimes, but you can't really steal cats from other people. You can't really mess. And, and the teams, it's okay, right? You're kind of working with each other, but it might be best as a three-player game as three different people go, but it even works as a two-player game. So that's pretty much it there. That's uh, Cat Town. If you like cats, you'll like the game probably quite a bit. But either way, like I said, it's a very relaxing style of art. And I think that flows into the game itself. Yeah, <laughs> I made it through the whole review without telling people how much I hate cats. Oh, I thanks our judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Bon, 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 b